Hi, this is Rick DeWitt with Axiom, and I'm here to bring you translation secret number nine. Secret number nine deals with unsupported MicroStation line styles when saving files from MicroStation to AutoCAD. And there can be quite a few of these. Some of the problems that you'll run into are parallel lines like this. When a MicroStation custom line style has parallel lines, as well as some vertical lines, when the custom line style has filled shapes that represent the graphics on this, when you have text sometimes that also associated with some linear components these will not translate directly into AutoCAD as custom line types or as line types in AutoCAD before you do the translation you need to understand this and you need to make a choice on how you want to deal with these particular line types and you have three methods you can take the first one is to drop the custom line styles to their component elements and that's a great solution if all you need are the graphics to display Display properly. The other choice is to not drop them and when you do it that way what happens are those custom line styles come across as solid continuous lines in AutoCAD. That makes those lines editable lines but you lose a lot of the graphics. The third choice and probably the best if you need to edit graphics after the translation are to map custom line styles in MicroStation to a line type in AutoCAD that is in fact supported. Then comes out of a standard LIN file or a LIN file that you create for that purpose. You access these different options through the Save As dialog in MicroStation. So we're going to do a file, Save As, change to DWG here. We're going to click the Options button and in the general tab there's an advanced category and if I click that the first choice here is drop on supported line styles so if you decide you want to drop them you turn on this checkbox before you do the translation and the custom line styles will be dropped to their components and the graphics will remain accurate if you leave this unchecked custom line styles that aren't supported are going to come out as continuous lines and the third choice is to remap those custom line styles to supported AutoCAD line types that are a reasonably good match or at least can represent what you're trying to show. You can do that through this tab in the Save As options and I covered that in an earlier secret in this series. So see that one. Hope this helps you. Have a good day.